Look at that. Look at that rainy lake gold. What's it been, six years? I've been saying we got to go do a May-June thing. Good to have you here. It's good to be here, Billy. This is Billy Doherty from Rainy Lake Houseboats, and I'm Roger Cormier, folks, and this is what we're after. Like Billy said, rainy lake gold. Just our first afternoon up the lake on a rainy lake houseboat. Spectacular fishery here we're going to tell you about. Multi-species, but we're starting out by catching a few nice walleyes. Now we got a slot up here, right? So this one's gonna go back. That's gonna go back. He's over 17 inches. Let's get a few more. Super easy. Real light jig, fishing shallow, springtime, fish are shallow. Minnow thread it through the back of the head like that and pitch it out right on the face of the rocks and hop it back to the boat. Wait for the tap. Keeper maybe. Frying fish. We could use a couple uh, for the, oh yeah. Nothing like a little walleye on the first evening on a houseboat. Yeah, that's it. You have those as a little hors d'oeuvre oh, tonight, huh? That's perfect. We're not fishing shallow just because it's evening and the fish are moving up shallow to feed. These fish are shallow all day long and you can catch them from morning, noon, and night. Roger, you know, you make a real good point in the spring and one thing you're seeing here is this wind blowing in and while you fish a windy shoreline, is it's going to move the warmest water over. And those fish like to use that for one, they digest food quicker. And there's more bait fish. They're all here for the warmth. That's the whole thing about Roger coming up May and June. Walleyes, smallmouth, northerns. You know, I mean, you never know when you can switch and be in the middle of something and say, let's go do something different and have at it. They're all shallow. There's a real, real big smallmouth here. I mean, like a real monster. And this is what Rainy Lake's famous for, right? I mean, world-class fishery all around, but people come from all over the country to fish smallmouth. I mean, get, Billy, you got guests on the houseboats that fly in, drive in, they come from all over. Now, see, that's another way to fish these shallows. You can throw a jerk bait or a, you know, a balsa crank bait that doesn't sink and you can, you can work it over the tops of those rocks. It's a real good you know, way for a novice fisherman to fish those, sh those shallow rocks. Or if you got some kids with you, you, you know, you're not gonna hang up in those shallows when you throw a, a suspending bait like this. This is that wrap of shadow wrap, and you can see how they destroy it. Good couple hours of fishing, huh, Billy? Getting ready to go have some chow. I bet yeah, the grill is back smoking. You know, it's nice. You got here early. We got some fishing and had a hot bite. Yeah. It's time to head and get a little bite and maybe a libation. Yeah, a cool beverage. We got a couple of walleyes to snack on here, and then we'll hit her hard again tomorrow, huh? Absolutely. Sounds good. Roger, that's a great evening on a houseboat. We got a little different morning today, a little overcast and whatnot, but I bet them fish are gonna bite. Oh, I bet they're gonna be snapping today. Let's get out there. It's early the morning on Rainy Lake and we're ready to do some more fishing. We're get after them. All right. Well, you're seeing the great fishing here on Rainy Lake in a spectacular setting, Voyagers National Park. Billy, talk about the Rainy Lake houseboats fleet. Well, we have 29 houseboats, you know, Roger, and we have a boat for every group size, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. They come just like home. They've got inner spring mattress beds, full-size refrigerators, got electric generators. You can bring your own boat with your electric trolling motors. And it, you know, you don't have to drive 200 miles north into Canada to get this fishing. You take that houseboat out, and it's just like a, a fly-in outpost camp, and you move it from spot to spot, and in this May and June, it, there's nothing like it. You know, it's just non-stop setting hooks. If you're interested in the trip in northern Minnesota, folks, Rainy Lake Houseboat's an awesome destination to check out. Get on there. No, I think he came off. No, he's, he did come off. He came off in the line there. Oh, he's still following you. He's on me. No, he's on me. He ate it. There's a big swirl. He's running so fast that I thought he popped off when it came through the weeds. He's got reeds tied around him. I got 30 pound suffix braid on here and just a 20 pound floral leader. And this is actually one of my medium action bass rods. Oh, it's a nice northern. <laughs> Seven foot stick that I got on here. And these buzz baits, you know, Billy, you were saying here before I got bit, what do they imitate? They like to imitate the mallards or the merganser ducks. You know, they got orange feet. Ducklings. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, this is, is a big boy. There we go. Whoo! That's a lot of northern folks. And that's what you can get on a Rainy Lake houseboats vacation if you get in these backwaters. What a giant fish. This, this is what you get. Oh, Billy, unbelievable. Fish of a lifetime, <laughs> thank you so much. You are welcome. May and June fishing, this is what it's all about, folks. If Billy, if folks want to come and experience Rainy Lake Houseboats in this spectacular destination, how do they reach you? RainyLakeHouseboats.com, you can visit us, or 1-800-554-9188, and we'll fix you right up. Doesn't get any better, folks. With Billy Doherty, I'm Roger Cormier. We're not done fishing, but we'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.